everyone else going? So in this video, I want to focus on Maggie's return. I haven't really talked much about this since it was announced. I talked more about her potentially coming back than when she was actually announced to come back and what story they could actually do with that character. It was kind of hilarious, but Kaylee Fleming did an interview or something on Instagram or whatever. I'm not sure of the details on that, but I saw an article posted on comicbook.com of what she had to say about Michonne and Maggie, which got my mind racing because she says that Maggie's return is going to be exciting and amazing. And I'm also paraphrasing there, but that does kind of confirm what we already knew, I guess, which is that Maggie is going to return this season. But it seems like she might actually have quite an appearance when she does come back. It's not going to be like this final shot of her reacting to the destruction of a community. And like, that's kind of it. Like a little Easter egg for season 11, let's say, you know, it, it's she's going to play more of a pivotal role, it seems. At least I'm starting to think so. And so I want to give my thoughts on that and also what I think her return could mean and how they'll do it. And so if you want to read what Kaylee Fleming had to say about Laura Cohen's return, she also talks about some interesting things surrounding Denai Guerrera and her departure and all that. So yeah. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check out that article. I really recommend it. But before we jump in, I do have to warn you for spoilers for the first half of the season. So yeah, you've been warned about that. Also, make sure to go check out a channel called Budge and Nerner. They're a new channel that I'm really, really enjoying. I might be a bit biased because they're old friends and stuff, but it would mean a ton to me personally if you guys went out and subscribed to them and showed them some love. I'll leave a link down below to their channel and to the first episode of their podcast. They're super hilarious. I really recommend checking them out. So yeah, make sure to go subscribe to them. So like I was saying, Kaylee Fleming did an Instagram interview, I guess, is that what you would call it? Where she said that, and I'm paraphrasing here because I don't remember the exact quote, but it was something like, Maggie's return is going to be amazing. It's going to be very, very exciting or whatever. And so, yeah, that just kind of got my brain thinking about a ton of stuff. Like, how the hell is she going to return? Because, yeah, she's going to return, but how? We focus so long on her potentially returning and stuff like that, that I feel like, at least me personally, I haven't really given much thought on how she's going to return. How is that scene actually going to play out? How is it actually going to affect the current storyline with the Whisperers? Is it going to at all? Like, how is she actually going to make her return on the show? Because for me personally, I keep thinking that it's going to be a lot like the Morgan cliffhanger where she just appears at the end. Maybe it's like a post credit scene or something like that. She takes off a mask and it's like revealed that it's Maggie. She's back on the show. But I don't think it's going to be that. It's definitely going to be more than that. It's by the sounds of what everyone's been saying. With the Morgan cliffhanger, that was a, it was a surprise, right? No one was expecting that. It, it wasn't announced or anything like that. With Lauren Cohen's return as Maggie, it's not that much of a surprise. Everyone's expecting it. I mean, it's been announced, right? We're all waiting for it to come back. So it seems like her return is going to matter, and it has to be just based on that, right? They announced it, and they announced that she's coming back full-time for Season 11, and that she's probably going to be, or that she is going to be reintroduced in Season 10. So it can't just be a cliffhanger, because there's an expectation now. It won't be a cliffhanger sort of scene, because they're hyping it already. So I think she's going to play some sort of role, or some sort of pivotal role, in the story of Season 10, that will also connect to season 11. Like, it's going to have to do with the main story. She'll have some effect on the ending of the Whisperer arc that connects to the, I guess, Commonwealth arc, right? Based on the comic anyways, like, what's the next villain? What's the next part of the story? The New World Order arc, otherwise known as the Commonwealth arc. Where is Maggie right now? She's with Georgie. Their quest, or I guess goal, is to help other communities out, to give them the key to the future. The Commonwealth are a community of 50,000 people. I'm sure Maggie and Georgie have run into them on their adventures, you know, so it just, it all connects. When Maggie returns, again, it has to be more than a cliffhanger scene, more than a post credit scene. She's going to affect the current story, which is the Whisperer arc, the ending of it anyways, maybe that Horde storyline as we go into season 11. What's the story in season 11? Well, based off of the comics, it's the Commonwealth. So you add Maggie's return there. Yeah, I think she's connected. I think she's returning with the Commonwealth. I think she's going to be reintroduced to the series with them, and we'll also get the introduction of them, right? Because can it really be anything else at this point? Sure, she could appear randomly, but if she did, and we met the Commonwealth in Season 11, there's always going to be that question of, why didn't Maggie run into them earlier? Her and Georgie are like out there traveling everywhere. Their whole entire thing is to help out other communities and to, again, give them the key to the future. So why didn't they run into them? Especially since that community is not like a small community. They have 50,000 people. So it just, it makes sense. It really does make sense. I think it's just that simple. I don't think we have to overthink this one. I think what we have to actually focus on is, if she does return with the Commonwealth, when is it going to happen, and how is it actually going to affect the Whisperer arc? 
I think that Maggie's going to return in the season 10 finale. I think it's going to be that episode specifically, nothing earlier. I just I just do. I don't think it's going to be earlier because of stuff going on with the Whisperers and all that. And because she's kind of connected to season 11, mostly she'll affect the ending of the Whisperers. Hopefully it's not her that like defeats Alpha or something like that, though I don't think that's going to happen. I think Alpha's going to be dying in 13, but I've made a video on that. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video if you guys want to check that out. But I think she's going to be in the finale. And so at that point, what exactly is happening? Well, based off comic material, they will likely be dealing with the Horde or I guess have just dealt with it. So basically we have two options here, right? Maggie returns with the Commonwealth to rescue them from that Horde or two, they help aid them in rebuilding Alexandria and the Hilltop. Maggie probably already knows the leader, Pamela Milton, a character that we're going to meet in season 11. She may have already run to the princess, who knows? Because in the comic, our characters run into the princess on their way to the Commonwealth, and maybe that still happens, but since Maggie's out there, it's possible that she's already run into her. I mean, it, it would just make her arrival, I think, or to the series makes sense, right? She's been with Maggie this whole time. This way, the princess is actually connected to an earlier season character, just naturally. Kind of like Michonne, actually, in season two and three, if you think about it. When Michonne was introduced in season three, kind of season two, she spent months with Andrea. So they were close. It was the first time we were meeting her, but we were meeting her with a character that we already knew very, very well, right? Andrea. So we just bought that relationship. We bought that they knew each other. So... The same thing here could happen with Maggie and the princess. They could be closer. They might already know each other. And so I do think it's going to be really that. I think when Maggie does return, it's going to be connected to the Commonwealth. And I think it's going to, she's going to return in a way where she's rescuing our characters from the Horde. I think that's probably going to be it for the most part. I mean, I don't know. It, it could really go either way. Like, I don't know how I feel about it all, right? It depends on how it's executed. Like, if the Horde is going to be a cliffhanger... And then in season 11, early on, we just kind of deal with the remnants of the horror or what have you. I don't really know how I feel about that. I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest. I want the arc to be completely closed this season, and then we go on to something else for season 11. If it's a cliffhanger, it just, it extends it, and it just, there's no payoff. Like, I'm really watching this season and last season to, to end the Whisper arc. Like, you want to have that build, you want to have that closure. And so, if there's a horde scene in the finale, and it doesn't end there somehow, then... I mean, yeah, it's just going to feel completely off. And who knows, maybe this year, they're not going to make the, the episode before the big episode. They're going to focus on the finale being the big episode. They could just do that, right? So maybe that is what happens. Maybe they don't actually defeat the Horde in episode 15 like I was originally thinking. They have some of it. Maybe they do deal with it in 15, but some of it is still around for the finale. And then that's when Maggie returns with some Commonwealth troops or troopers. I should start calling them troopers because they kind of remind me of stormtroopers. But maybe it's them that defeats the rest of the Horde sort of thing. At this point, Alpha would be gone. I'm hoping Beta's going to be gone at this point. I hope they don't end the season in a way where Beta could be out there and he's just kind of missing. Only because just when he does come back in the comic anyways, it's so stupid. He comes back and he just dies right away. I thought it would play more of a role into some part of the story, but he just comes back, boom, dead. So if they do do that and they have Beta somehow involved with the story, maybe he's locked up in jail, they take his mask off, maybe there's a way they can actually integrate Beta within Alexandria, change him a lot. I don't know. I'd be open to that. Honestly, would be open to that. We're getting into original material here with the comic, so or with the comic with the show. So, you know, I'd definitely be open to that, but it depends. I mean, I'm sure Ryan Hurst is really getting along with Jeffrey Dean Morgan and all that, so I'm sure they could probably do something there. But yeah, I think there's a good chance that Maggie could be a part of the Commonwealth. It's unlikely if you're viewing it through the comic material, but Angela Kang does need to change some stuff up, and she already is. I mean, so much is already different. Season 6 to 8 were so just on the nose for comic material that I also think did contribute, by the way, to some fatigue for the show, at least for comic fans, because it was almost the same story we already read, right? There was no surprises for the most part, so... And whereas earlier seasons did their own things, more so than season 6 to 8 anyway, so... Yeah, and when you get to 9 and 10, things are very different, the major beats are still there, but... So much is already so different with this cave stuff, with everything. It's just, yeah, it makes sense. Kang is probably going to change Maggie's story up or, or her arc up a lot. Maggie does have a lot of connections with the Commonwealth and the comic. You know, like she d definitely, her story is really integrated with that because that's the thing with Maggie. She is into all of that stuff. She's actually into being a leader and everything that comes with being a leader and just dealing with all of that. 
she does eventually become the leader of the Commonwealth, so that could happen. Or maybe she already is in the show. Um, probably not. She's probably higher up, I would assume anyways, maybe not. But being interested in a community that has 50,000 people, like the Commonwealth is something that Maggie, it just, it fits her, right? It's not out of character to say that Maggie, when she returns, she would be with them. And she brings in Commonwealth troopers to save the day and wipe out some of the Whisper Horde. That sounds exactly like something that Maggie would do. It would be shocking to see her return with them, sure, but it works. But let me know what you guys all think. Do you think Maggie's return is going to be connected to the Commonwealth, or do you think something else? Considering it's the next arc in the story, I think it's related. Just by the very nature of why she left, she left to help out another community, or other communities. Georgie is connected to something very bigger, or it seems like anyways, and so maybe they have already come across the Commonwealth at some point. And yeah, I mean, otherwise if it's not related... I guess she would just return to find the hilltop in Alexandria destroyed, which it's, it's not really a pivotal scene in that sense. It's more of a reaction. Sure, it's exciting, but it's not really like amazing. It's amazing maybe to see her on screen, but I don't know. I think her return, if it's going to be something that's just like amazing, I just I think it has to mean something, especially since they already announced it. It's not going to be just her reacting to something, you know? It's not going to be just an appearance. She's doing something which... If you know what happens with the Whisper Horde later on this season, it makes sense. She's going to save them with the Commonwealth Troopers. That's an idea I have right now anyways. Maybe she's just the one that kills Beta or something. Maybe it's something more simple. As soon as I saw Kaylee Fleming say that or whatever about her return, it's just amazing. My mind just kind of went to that. So of course it could be anything. But anyways, let me know what you guys all think. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more Walking Dead content like this. And I'll see you all in the next one.